The fake fiction we are about to embark on is a work of total fiction. Names, characters, places, and or incidents are either products of the creator's imagination or are used fictitiously. Any resemblance to actual events or locals is entirely coincidental. This story does not reflect the views or opinions of any actual person or pony seen in it. Anyway, it's, uh, it's either just clay or cartoons. Let us have some fun, shall we? Two of the most powerful versions of Equestria's Snobby Prince will fight to survive. Can anyone or pony survive when these versions of the Mad Party Pony duke it out? And two, and of, two the of the biggest badasses <laughs> in Equestria will fight to see who is numero uno. Let's dive in, folks. This is Ponies on Celebrity Deathmatch 2 by Just Sonic. <clears throat> Good evening, folks. Welcome to Celebrity Deathmatch. I'm Johnny Gomez here with a very irritating Nick Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> we are back at Equestria in the rebuild arena for tonight. Everyone all over is ready to watch tonight's fighters beat the hell out of one another. Everyone who is everyone's here tonight, Johnny. Right, and rejoining us is our good friend and pink pony laughing princess, Pinkie Pie. Yay! Oh, God! <laughs> She's commentating again. Great. Yes, she is. <laughs> oh. She was guest commentator on the last part as well, if you guys didn't catch. The reading is on Gonzo's channel for the, of the first Pony Sun Sunset. Yes. Ta-da! Thanks for having me back, Nick and John. It's been a while since our previous show. Yeah, when you blew up the place. I hope you won't this time. Are you kidding? Once is enough? Or is it? Well, I hope you can control your... Hope you can control ourselves, because our fight card tonight is a doozy. Folks from all over universes and Equestria's biggest asses are here tonight. Hmm. In our first fight... Two versions of that royal pain in the ass Prince Blue Blood. The Iron Man hero Iron Stallion will do battle with that villainous fiend, the Royal Pain. Very interesting fight, Johnny and Nick. Just sorry the author has yet to make the fan makes or stories in those two guys, but we ain't gonna let it stop us, so consider this a preview. Uh, speak of which, the audiences are gonna love me for this next one. Thank you. That's right. You got the Spider Man version of me, Spider Mare, taking on that psycho cupcake killer Psycho Pie. I almost feel peeped out with these two. Now relax, Pinkie Pie. He'll kill in the ring so you don't have to worry. Who's worried? I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Of course I hope you're excited for our main event. This fight will determine who is the biggest badass in Season 2. As the spirit of chaos and disharmony, Discord, will go out all war with the Queen of the Changelings, Chrysalis. One of them won't be left breathing. Well, both of them are super evil meanies, but for you folks who want to relax before the big storm, we got a big surprise before the main event. Yeah, but that's later. All right, folks, time we interview tonight's fighters. Normally, we go to reporter Tally Wong for the interviews. But Since you can't stand ponies, we got that beautiful and shyful Fluttershy to do it for us. Fluttershy? <laughs> and we see in the locker room, we see a couple of changelings are busy attending to their queen. Oh, God. Well... Queen okay, so now I have to do Fluttershy. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> uh, uh, hey, Nick. Johnny, Pinkie Pie, uh, I'm here for the interviews with the main event fighters. Uh, Queen Chrysalis? Can I call you that? And I suppose I'll take Chrysalis. Uh, if you want. If you must. Does my form intimidate you? Want me to go into something more suitable? <gasps> suitable? <laughs> No, thank you. <laughs> tempting, just tempting. <laughs> if if you'd be so kind, fine. She grows as she transforms into her cadence form, the same one the villainess used to fool everybody but Twilight before. Well then, at least it's something suitable. <laughs> all yeah, right. that's really all I can give it. It's suitable. <laughs> Keep going. All right, make it fast. Now, you have been called the bad ass of... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, did Fluttershy just use the word bad and ass in the same sentence? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, I really wish Alex was in this call now. Oh, well. All right. 
<laughs> Keep going. <laughs> How does it feel to be taking on a terrible and wicked spirit like, like Discord? Oh, Discord is so overconfident and he isn't so hard. I've got a lot of tricks up in my brains that will teach that fool a thing or two. Uh, weren't you overconfident as well? Yes, but at least you were one of the foes I fooled before I was defeated. Ugh! This tastes like mud! Oh, she's drinking wine? She was okay. drinking wine, but it became mud. Well, she spat it out of the changing because she thought it tasted like mud. <laughs> Wait, it is? It is? It is mud? What the hell? <laughs> oh, that is a good prank! Switching oh, wine with mud! Funny. A classic! I will take this for you. Aww! Can I? Please? Eh, I, let me try it. Let me try it. <laughs> oh, that is a good one! Switching wine with mud? A classic! <laughs> oh, crap. You do it better. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, uh, hello, this boy. What is your strategy for tonight's main event? Oh, no strategy needed, Fluttershy. Just do what I usually do, except I'll add killing to the list. Damn. <sighs> uh, okay, uh, I'm getting a little bit nervous here. So I can show you a way how I, I can show you a way of how I can help you relax, my dear. And you slyly hold up a paw, making Fluttershy yelp a bit. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> back to the booth. Thank you, Fluttershy. Well, we got a big main event waiting for us. For now, though, it's time for the first battle between two versions of the whiny bastard Prince Blue Blood from two alternate universes. Well, one thing about having a vast array of alternate universes and just a story can continuity, if Season 3 ends up contradicting any of the stuff in the main continuity, it still doesn't necessarily negate the stuff in the series. Right. This matchup pits the hero of the Pony Avengers, the Iron Stallion, against one of the dangerous enemies of the Harmony League of Equestria in another universe, the Royal Pain. So we have what I'm assuming is the Equestria version of the Avengers and Justice League of America, if I'm not mistaken. Ugh, now it's next turn. Uh, both of them are played by the arrogant and snobbish Prince Blue Blood, but while one is reformed, the other is just a pain in the ass. One thing's for sure, one of these Blue Bloods is going to have blue blood all over the ring floor. Oh, I can't wait! Time to get this started! And now, the first fight of the night! In the red corner, the only Blue Blood to stop being a pain and being a pain to his enemies, inventor and big time lover! From the Pony Avengers is the Iron Stallion! Woohoo! It's good to be here, folks, to put an end to one of the enemies from across the universe planes. Oh! Uh. Uh. I'll kiss my prank hero! <laughs> voice from the, the other. Voice from the other corner snaps, we see a figure wearing a Princess More Box! <laughs> Princess More Box? <laughs> You seriously wearing the outfit of one of the villains from the fucking Powerpuff Girls? <laughs> wow, how many universes is in this? <laughs> uh, that's you again. Ah, uh, and in the blue corner, the Disharmony villain, the major pain in the flank from the universe of... <laughs> sorry, typo. The Harmony League of Equestria, the Royal Pain! Boo! I just Spike. hope our... <laughs> Spike, hello. I just hope our Prince Blue Blood is watching because next show, his flank is mine. I'll teach him a lesson about respect, a permanent lesson. I'll kick his flank until he's breathed his last breath and then continue kicking it some more. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't care if, those both, if both these two survive or not. They both remind me of that royal pain. Of course. And the two fighters head up to Mills Lane as he gives out his... Alright, I already gave you the rules of the dressing rooms. Maybe power versions of Prince Blue Blood from where you both came from. But you both pissed me off, so make this fight a good one and keep the warning to a minimum. <laughs> Boy, royal pain, in the names of those you harmed or killed, I shall put you down. <laughs> and the royal pain's response... <laughs> That's you. Oh, you want me to take it? Yeah, may as well. Please, I'm used to taking on the Harmony League of Equestria. My universe's chief superhero team. My superhero counterpart might be a founding member of his Equestria's main super team, but he's on his own in this bout. Uh, you 
do know he's right in front of you, right? Oh, good comeback. Let's get it on! And the fight is underway! Yes. <clears throat> Alrighty, Knave, you're about to feel my royal wrath! Apparently, whoever fight you must be lucky. You must be lucky if you're a snotty wuss. Ooh. Adam Arg has made royal paint piss, and he makes the first attack! And he fires a blast at him, I'm saying flies to dodge as it hit a ring post, but surprisingly, the thing remains intact. Since almost all the contestants in our three matches tonight have superpowers, we specially reinforce the ring. Yeah, we don't want another ring blowout now, do we? <laughs> yeah, after the Twilight and Trixie bout, no, definitely not. Yeah, that that one pretty much made the arena a disaster area. Mm hmm. Very nice, World Pain, but you won't deter me. And he fires a chain around his opponent. Now, let's do this right. Looks like the Iron Stallion has trapped Royal Pain in a chain and is tossing him around! And the good guy hits his opponent under the ring pole, tossing his opponent around. Ooh! Ooh that's gotta hurt! Uh oh. Well, Royal Pain isn't gonna stand for that! He's hitting the assault! Prepare to face death! He takes the sword out and he flies around, slashing his opponent a few times. Ouch! <laughs> Pathetic! Ouch! Iron Stallion hasn't taken a hit like that since... Actually, hell if I know. Iron Stallion hasn't even made yet, so how do I know what hit he took? Prepare to meet thy doom, peasant! Not in your lifetime! He snaps... Oh, well, Iron Stallion, I should say. As he activates a magnet, zapping his opponent... And slamming him to the ground! Damn! Ooh. Looks like this blue blood has one magnetic personality! <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Pinky. <laughs> well, he does have a magnetic personality. It repelled rarity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a good one. I commend you for that one. All right, let's continue on. Yes. Mm. You want to know what I used to do? This! He exclaims as he opens an apartment on himself and takes out a beer bottle. Damn it! This is no time for beer! Wait, hang on! He's spilling the beer and... Fires a blast of the royal pain, causing him to go up in flames! Yes! Looks like the beer has turned the royal pain into a pony fireball! He's running around like one, too, now! I bet Rarity would crack up at seeing this one. Yeah, well, would it, would it be would it be on the blue, bad blue blood or the good one? Royal pain is put out and looks like he's been through World War Three. Bless you! You're pissing me off more than that snobby Rarity! Oh, ho, ho, ho. So the truth comes out. <laughs> so what? That name you have, Royal Pain, is fitting for you because you're nothing but a pain in everyone's flanks. Smooth talk coming from a drunk. A anyway, I have yet to be a pain. Whatever the Royal Pain's up to, it's not going to be good. What? Forgot that I'm a unicorn? I can do magic and trust me, I've learned this one from my enemy's enemy's Crucio! Uh-oh, I sadly know that one. That's... Uh, he lifted that one straight from fucking Harry Potter. Shit, I haven't even read Harry Potter, nor am I going to watch the movies. Too long. I'm selling Elvis as he finds himself being tortured a bit. Hey, what's going on? He's hurting the Iron Stallion without touching him. Of course! The Royal Pain has learned one of the unforgiven curses, the Cruciatus Curse! He's torturing him through the magic of his own horde! Bills may need to make a ruling on this one! How loud, because this is Equestria, not the role of Harry Potter! <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, Equestria rules, anything goes. Yep. Uh, and Nick? Bills allowed it, and the Royal Pain took control of this fight! He's kicking and using the Crucio curse at the same time. And Royal Pain laughing madly as he's hitting the hero like mad. <laughs> oh, what's the matter? This mommy's boy wants his auntie Celestia to come and fight for him. Man, that is really hitting low. Now let's see what's under the hood. He talents as he took out an iron saw. Oh God! Wow, Royal Pain brought in an iron saw. He's about to cut the iron saw open like a tin can. Ooh, this is... And the Royal Pain continues laughing 
As he goes through to the power source, which is the new element, Villain is suddenly hit by a repulsor beam, sending him into the post. No chance! That new element of Iron Stallion is unpredictable. Joe Crucio Curse is lifted, but the Iron Stallion is still a bit weakened from the attack. The Iron Stallion needs to recover fast if he wants to beat that royal pain. You know, most of the ponies in Equestria got grim dark fix bakes on them, and that makes me a bit jealous, so I think I'll fix that right now. Is that? Is, is that? Yes! He's taking out a dentist drill! Royal Pain is planning on pulling on a legal, a legal root canal! <laughs> root canal? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm like... Bleh. I'm Come like, on. what? <sighs> Come on. Airing out of the apartment I wonder, we, I wonder where he got that since Pony's got no pockets. And none of your damn business, Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, let's not question the pinkster. Yeah, Iron Stallion finds himself running as his opponent chased him with a drill. Remarking, uh, <clears throat> that's you. Uh, wait, that's... Oh, wait, uh, there we go. Come is... on, fancy brats! I want to drill out your eyes! And, of course, the Iron Stallion trapped by a ring post as the Royal Pain gets closer. Oh, it looks like this fight is about over! Ooh, you don't see like stuff like this in dentistry school. I won't let you win. As the iron salad snaps, and he grabs his opponent and electrocutes him. Ooh. Ooh, wowzers, hoof buzzer. The iron salad's full of surprises. Both fighters are still standing, but not defeated yet. I can still win this. Time for Avada Kedavra. Avada Kedavra, the death curse. Another Harry Potter thing. Yikes. Oh no! Looks like he's pulling out the killing curse! Iron, Iron Stallion is done for! Hang on! Oh wow, the Iron Stallion deflected the spell. Hmm. Oh then. Good block with the Iron Stallion! What?! The spell is out of control! Oh, watch out! Oh, oh. god. Yeah, block with, good block with the Iron Stallion, but now the curse is dr bouncing all over the place. It quickly bounces off the wall and heads back to the ring. Right at the world pain, whose eyes widen in horror. <laughs> oh, flanks! He groans as the attack hits him. Swear on, setting him to the ring floor, no longer moving. Killed by his own curse. That is harsh. <laughs> and what's the this, verdict? This horse's ass is dead. The winner is the Iron Stallion. <laughs> the Iron Stallion wins! Thanks for the support, folks, and make sure to check out the latest from Blue Blood Industries very soon. No one likes a braggart, Blue Blood! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Rainbow Dash. <laughs> wow, looks like the Royal Pain should have stuck to his own attacks, huh? Yeah, unforgiving curses can be also be very unpredictable. So is this! She disappears and comes back with another huge anvil and throws it, causing more folks to... Where did she get an anvil? Uh... I don't know. Uh, folks, we're gonna go to commercial now, but when we come back, it's another alternate universe collision with Pinkie Pie's alternate universe selves, the spider Mare, and Psycho Pie going at it. We'll be right back. Yes. This show is brought to you by The Wonderbolts, one of the most greatest and interesting flight times in Equestria. Now taking applications. <laughs> Welcome back to our show. I am Johnny Gomez here with Nick Diamond and Pinkie Pie. In our previous bout, the Iron Stallion has triumphed over the other blue blood version, the Royal Pain, especially when the villain's attempt of an unforgiven curse backfired on him. Yeah, curses like that are really unforgiven. I mean, really. <laughs> Uh, huh. Huh. Before we head to our next fight of the night, we go to correspondent Fluttershy, who's making an interview with the guest referee of tonight's main event. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, we have a guest referee? Hmm. Well, of course. Since we don't know how predictable these main events are, we asked Mills to stay out of the ring for this one. So for the main event, we have Alicorn OC, and the strongest one on Equestria, Goldenheart. Goldenheart, huh? Hmm. Oh, uh, thanks, Johnny. Goldenheart, you... Oh, sorry. It's oh, Fluttershy! Ah, ah, ah. 
Wow, I'm out of it tonight. Uh, thanks, Johnny. Uh, Goldenheart, you've been at Questria for a long time, depending on which universe you came from. How can you handle two villains who have been plaguing us for years? Well, Fluttershy, next to the princesses and a few powerful ponies that I know, I'm not one to be messed with. If any of those two were to get out of line, they'll answer to me. And unlike what happened to you and your friends, I'm not easily discarded or fooled by Chrysalis's disguises. Don't, don't remind me. So are you worried about being labeled a, a Gary Sue or the same way that Nyx was? Ooh. Oh, already it sounds okay, like hang it. on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Exa Gonzo, care to explain, who the fuck is this Nyx? Because I keep hearing about this all over the place. Nyx time. came from um, an alternate story where the darkness that enveloped Nightmare Night became ponified and reborn, and um, essentially Twilight took uh, this pony under her wing and called her Nyx. I believe it's this fanfic called Past Sins. Yeah, that's it. Hmm. Dang it, there was a story I was thinking about that this kind of reminds me of, but I can't remember it. Yeah, um... Oh, yeah, kind of like... Uh, nah, I can't remember. Yeah. I, I never let stuff like that worry me. If any of those critics try to attack me or poke me with a grill iron, I get a weapon that said otherwise. Melon? <laughs> he took sword and sliced a melon in half to prove that point. <laughs> uh, yes, that sounds yummy. Uh, for once, nothing terrifying or freaky has happened. Uh, back to you guys and Pony. Thanks, Fluttershy. Now it's time for a second fight, which is kind of sequel to the first one, but both versions of our guest commentator, Pinkie Pie. Yep, one of them is the version of the Marvel hero Spider-Man, and the other is from a universe where I turned Dash into cupcakes. Uh, gross, I know. I sure hope that at least one of them wins. At least a good one. Ooh. If we're dealing with cupcakes, Pinky. Oh, oh, this is going to be... This is going to be a pain. Right. Yeah. And we're about to get underway for our second fight of the night. Back in the ring as Mills waits, two World Guard ponies are bringing in a bloodstained version of... Oh. And a fucking straight coat, too. A man uh. started to keep her from biting and insane look to the ring. Oh, God. And now, coming to the ring, being released from her equestrian asylum to fight tonight, the Cupcakes Killer, the one pink pony you want to cut. Uh, ah, sorry. <laughs> the one pink pony you want to cut ties with quickly before she cuts you, Psycho Pinky! Yeah, yay? Once she's released, she takes out the straight jacket, revealing her outfit from Cupcake Center. Oh, God. She actually still has that? <laughs> Dizzy, honey, I hope you're watching. I'm doing this for you. Uh, who's Dizzy? <laughs> Psycho Pie does, does have a near obsessive crush on Discord. That would be uh, wait, that's Pinkie Pie is supposed to do that, but I think it's a typo. <clears throat> It's kind of creepy next. Yeah. <laughs> next up is wait a second. Where's Spider Man? You think being Pinkie Pie's alternative self, she might keep time straight. Hmm. Looks like I win by default. Yes, again, Psycho. Up there, it's it's Spider Man. What is she doing up by a thirty feet window? Making a grand entrance. Now, theme music. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, a hero's theme! I love this! May I? <laughs> what is it? Oh, hold on. I, it's on here! And I think we get it. Yeah. <laughs> that retro oh, ass oh. theme. Mm-hmm. Blah, 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 blah. Skipping the fucking steam. Spider-Man swings off close to the camera with her logo off her outfit blocking the view. Soon afterwards, we return to the event as the hero lands in her corner while the audience cheers from that great show of her theme song. Unbelievable! I don't believe it! That Spider-Man appeared in a heroic fashion! No! At some point, he actually went off with a cheesy theme song from the year 1967 series. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey! Oh. I like that song! I think you would, Pinky. Did your friends say it? You're really random. Oh, come on, Nick! It wasn't that bad. 
Says you. That song stuck in my noggin. Unless I get the stuff and knocked out of me, I can't sleep so well. Yeah. Suddenly, Spider Man shot a quick web and smacked Nick's forehead on the table before the man rose up, completely off guard. <laughs> Ooh. How's that? All better? What the. Did Spider Man just. He just performed her act of duty! She helped you! New Day tonight, I have proof! Round this tape! She yeah. has to feel a tape player that repeated. <laughs> Shows you there, Nick. Oh, fine. Take the pony side against your own kind. I only speak from facts, not by any other, Nick. <laughs> hey, how come Spider-Man got a theme song introduced and not me? I can do one. Listen, psycho pie, psycho pie. Boo! I can't. Well, looks like I'm not the only one having a bad start. Oh, cheer up, Nick. Here, have this pie someone bake for us to enjoy. Ooh. Oh, well, I can't say no to pie. Exactly who made this pie? Silly name, but he calls it Psycho Bye Bye. Oh, God. Well. Well, wait a sec. <laughs> Don't touch that! With enough reflexes, Spider Man got the pie and threw it all over that against a chainsaw's face. <laughs> Hey, that was a slice of pie you gave that shadow insect pony. What's the deal? And then there was an explosion that took out that corner where the changing was. Ugh, what a mess. How's about the baker? P How's about the baker put too much explosive power in that creme? It smells like psycho pie's doing. Oh, so that's where I get it from. And what? Rubber head feeling puzzled, getting enlightened on who gave her that pie. In oh God. Oh. Uh. Ugh. Okay, you two, get in the ring center. Fun games is over. Time to get serious. Ah, oh, you're serious. Why so serious? Really? Yeah. Really, she's really quoted the Heath Ledger Joker there. <laughs> Not that Joker talk, young lady. I try to understand what the hell I'm saying here. I want a good, clean fight. Protect yourselves at all times, especially no cupcakes. You know what I mean. I normally don't kill. Some of my enemies have been unfortunate ends by their own hooves or claws, but in this case, against my more fiendish counterpart, I am forced to make an exception tonight. Let's get it on! And the second fight is underway. Psycho Pie writing her knife, getting in a fighting stance. Hopefully, Chocolate Pudding is watching, because he would want your head for a trophy. It. Sorry, Psycho Pie, but my trophy is off limits to any pony. Oh, God. Uh, Psycho goes in for the attack, but Spider-Man Spider seems ready. She bounces out, causing Psycho Pie to slash the ring's ropes, but since they're strong enough, the things aren't cut off. Lucky for the ring, no cutouts. And Spider-Man is hanging upside down, commentating, Honestly, I don't know what you were thinking. Making cupcakes out of Rainbow Dash? Are you asking to lose friends? Well, duh! I never liked Rainbow Dash or anybody else. I killed Dashie and I killed Rarity too. When this is over, after beating you, I'll kill Twilight, Applejack, and Fluttershy next. I never liked them from the start anyway. It'll be so much fun. Oh, dear Celestia, she is crazy. And you're surprised? <laughs> <laughs> now Starfire's on the attack. She throws a knife at spider mares web, causing her to fall to the ring. And the insane killer jumps on her opponent. Now Psycho's on the offense. You know, knives aren't the only two I got. I've been saving this for Fluttershy, but you can make a good view. But you can make a good preview. <laughs> it's a vice. Vice? Is that? Yes. Psycho Pie has pulled out a vice. She's putting a squeeze on her opponent. I haven't seen this much squeezing since just Sonic's daydreams of Twilight X Cadence. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> oh, <laughs> if there's that's TMI that we needed to know. Let me know when this hurts. I hate to miss seeing your head get squeezed until it bursts like a melon over my dead body. The Spider Man uses her strength to knock Psycho and the Vice away from herself. Well, so much for Spider Man's application of to Miami Vice. <sighs> Blast you! Oh, wait, I can. <laughs> She's got a blaster. That pink pony is crazy. She's opening fire on the spider mare. The heroine jumps around saying, Kill okay, time to take this into the air. She shoots out a web and begins swinging into the air. Looks like spider mare is taking a swing at things. 
Really? I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Is that allowed when leaving the ring? Hmm. We're gonna have to let Mills decide on this. I'll allow it since technically, as long as the fighter says he'll beat, it's no drawback. Well then, here's whip in your eyes. You yeah! It's whips right in your opponent's eyes. I can't see! And now, a kick in the gut! Oh god, she not only has a cheesy theme song, but also the cheesy wit of the 1960s Spider Man. Ooh. And now, a dirty move by Spider Man, which is good. The Psycho Pie wasn't so clean in the first place. <laughs> and the Spider Man comments, Come on, I'll give you one chance to give up, Miss Crazy Dancy Pants. You don't want it. Never! <laughs> so she vomits up blood right onto the Spider Man, causing her to scream in pain. Ooh, what? that Psycho Pie is insane, and she's using acidic blood. And now she's Acid. taking control of this fight. Acid blood? How the fuck does that work? I know it's pinky. I know the coin, the coin is pinky pie, no question. But seriously, acid blood. Hmm. Ooh. Mm -mm. Looks like Pinky's. Wait a minute! Psycho Pie is getting something out. More rope! More rope! The villain just tackles her opponent in the ring post and begins tying her up. Uh oh! I think I know where this is going. And now it's time for my greatest cupcake creation! <laughs> I don't have most of my usual tools here unless I can get Mr. D to help, so I will have to wing it! <laughs> ah! Psycho Pie's about to try to make cupcakes in a ring! Not oh, wings Lord. or cutie mark, but it'll be a start! You grab his face, she cut off and eats it. Oh. Oh, I definitely don't want to see that! Miss Psycho Pie, don't do that again or I'm throwing your flag out of here! Okay, fine. How about I feed her? She takes out a corpse hoof and pours hot sauce on it. <laughs> I read this on my rarity of the set of cupcakes too. And now, in the words of Dizzy, you're going to eat it! Ooh, Ooh Psycho Pie's about to make spider mare do the unthinkable! Eat unicorn cooking! Now she's trying to... It looks like she's trying to choke her. <laughs> this is how Mr. Cake feels when I stuff the pillow in his face in his sleep. What? What? Uh oh. What? <laughs> she manages to get a hoof free at Spider Man and punches Psycho Pie away from her. The heroine is broken free of the rope and glaring at the psychotic pony in rage. Uh oh. Ooh. How dare you! Mr. Cake was your friend, someone who's like an uncle to you. I am about to let that death of Mr. Cake go avenged, unavenged. Ooh. Ooh. Looks like, looks like hearing Psycho Pie killing her Mr. Cake brought back bad memories of when Spider-Man failed to save her own. Ooh, fuck. Oh, damn. As an Avenger, I will avenge. Uh. Oh, hang on, Spider-Man wasn't an Avenger in the actual movies. Duh, we can get away with it in fan makes. Why else are they called... Fan makes. Hmm. Uh -huh. You well, want an avenge? Fine. Try avenging your own death. I was saving this for AJ, but you'll do as well. Now Psycho Pie is being the Grim Reaper of the Pony World. Oh God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. She slashes at the ring post, getting a weapon stuck. Spider Man hits her opponent a few times, but the insane villainess kicks the heroine pony out of the ring. As she tries to recover, Psycho Pie jumps off and lands on her. <laughs> this should have been over in an instant, and I ain't Kenny. <laughs> oh, God, that fun. Instant. Oh, yeah, thanks for reminding me. Spider-Man exclaims, uh -huh. it's suddenly stuffing some cartridges into Psycho Pie's mouth at times and webbing the mouth closed. Is that got some new gimmick? Huh? He yelps as the cartridges inside herself begin to activate. And suddenly, webbing starts coming out of your ears like mad? What the hell's going on down there? Looks like the spider mirror has got out a new gimmick called instant webbing, and her opponent can't stomach the effects. And suddenly, Psycho Pie's stomach, head, top, flanks, and whatnot explode, shooting out her innards. And she groans out, This pudding. Ugh. And she is dead. Ooh! Now that's how you truly end the Cupcake series! Dashie, Verity, you've been avenged! 
Ooh. Yep, Cupcakes Pinky is gone. And... The spider Mare is the winner! I am definitely getting a bat out of this, and that ain't no joke. Looks like spider Mare has triumphed over psycho Pie me And we, we do know what to expect. More and more pain and humiliation. Nope! Less and less freaks fo less and less folks freaking out about me around me when it involves cupcakes. Well, there's that. Folks, once this commercial break is over, we got our main event between Discord and Queen Chrysalis, with special guest referee Golden Heart. So stay tuned. I say, that was a satisfying fight, I say. Yep, and thank God we took care of that. This show has been brought to you by Sweet Apple Acres, making the best apple cider and zap apple jam for a lot of years. And welcome back to our show, folks. I'm Nick Diamond, here with Johnny Gomez and Pinkie Pie. Here's what happened the last time you missed out. Psycho Pie tried to go cupcakes killer on the spider mare, but the hero shows that with great power comes great responsibility. And flank kicking. And now we're about to get ready for our main event. But before we go, we got a big surprise for you bronies out there. And basically what it is, just a, a quote-unquote trailer for one of his next fix. I think we can skip this, right? Yeah. Da, 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 da. Where is blah, 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 blah. Maybe I'll look at it some other time anyways. Whoa! Talk about your dramatic sneak peeks. Yes, we're glad to see more of that coming. And now it's time for our main event, which puts two of the biggest assholes in the history of Equestria. Yes, Discord and Chrysalis had caused madness and trouble in the season two premiere and opening. But the major question is, which one of these villains is truly the best? Time to find out! Our fighters are now entering the ring where Goldenheart is waiting! Uh, Mofeta's asking me, hey, do you want an animation of your old cat fright? Huh, why not? Go ahead! It's, it's not an addiction! Yeah, I I can do it better. And oh, now... Is in the ring. <laughs> oh, that was me. And now entering the ring, the spirit of chaos and disharmony. A hideous example of what happened when you combine a lot of creatures. I'm talking to you, Frankenstein. Discord! And he appears in a puff of smoke wearing sunglasses. Well, you aren't hot. You aren't so hot yourselves, ponies and folks. And in the other corner, the fighter with a lot of faces and appearances. The queen of the changelings, Chrysalis. And of course, one of the changelings named Fred. Woo! Go, oh, my queen! My, my money's. money's on my money's on what? Go on. My money's on Discord. Uh, why? I don't know. Oh, shut up, you idiot! Some of us are trying to watch! Yes, sir! Yes. <laughs> and going hard motions for both fighters. Instruction time! Now, listen up! I want a good, clean fight from the both of you. Discord, no discording! You see your use, yes, sir, use of chaos tricks. Chrysalis, you're going to change into a pony, any pony that fights. And don't use that spell thingy on me like you did with Shining. Uh... And, oh, there's Cadence in the crowd. I hope that witch loses. Me too. Can't believe that I almost married her. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it could have been worse. They could have had a little time together before the marriage ceremony. Yeah, I don't want to think about that. Uh, well, well. Uh, that concept did get a good uh, character that I know of a friend of mine's. I'll treat you yeah. to it later. <laughs> ah. Back in the ring, Bristol's comments. You're going down, Discord. I beat Princess Celestia herself. So did I, Chrissy. And I didn't need to be powered up by her niece and then near future nephew-in-law to pull it off. And since you can't use the elements of harmony against me, I would say you're the one at the disadvantage. Let's get it on! We'll see who's at a disadvantage. Exactly. The two are at a standoff. Golden Heart is making sure they go by the rules. Now Chrysalis is changing. Oh, charging, it says. Oh, but charging. Chrysalis hits a brick wall. And, oh, talk about hitting your head on a brick wall. <laughs> uh, my, my, just, just like Sally and Looney. <laughs> always, <laughs> Looney, always hitting your heads on brick walls. Oh, and how about I give you a better opponent? Just now she transforms into, oh, shit, Nightmare Moon. Oh, shit. 
Ooh, turning into Nightmare Moon. I'm so scared. He taunts a bit, then making chocolate rain appearing and raining it right onto Chris Alice. Yes, that's what I love about this guy. Chocolate rain. <sighs> oh, now I got it. Chocolate rain. Don't. I had to. I haven't, I haven't had this much fun since the fan make with the mayor do well. <laughs> what? Thought that only Pinkie Pie can break the fourth wall? Eh, <laughs> we'll allow it. <laughs> Honestly, I can do this all day. What with... What's this? Ha <laughs> Ponyville's Chapman is going to do you all in. Ah, oh, great. Now Chrys uh, Chrysalis is the mayor do well. No one knows who she is, but they do now. Good move by Chrysalis. She's transformed into Mayor Duwell, a mysterious hero of Ponyville who only shows up for a few days. <laughs> now who's at the disadvantage? She taunts as she fires bolts from her new horn, hitting Discord. Of course, all she's doing is annoying her a bit. Do me a favor. Don't get wrapped up in your work. <gasps> and he says, saps his fingers. Her Mayor, her, her mayor Duwell forms wings suddenly wrap around the villainess, causing her to fall to the ring floor. Now who has is at the disadvantage this time? I still am Chainslings attack! Oh god. Oh, uh -oh. dear. Chrysalis is resorting to outside help. Can Golden Heart allow that? Hmm. Let's turn to Golden Heart for the judge for the uh judgment. Hey! He snaps as he fires a wave, knocking the trainings minus the queen out of the ring. No outside help, Crystalis. That happens again. You're disqualified. Well, at least somebody has some common sense now. Uh. Good call by Golden Heart. Now the Queen is really on her own. Ah, uh, fuck you! Fine. No changelings. But I can still use my own version of my outside self. Oh, please. Don't flatten yourself on my account, as Discord flattens... Well... Discord allows a couple of anvils to hit her on the head. <laughs> mm. Discord is in total control of this fight. I don't think anyone can bring him down now. Wait, Crystal is doing a familiar attack which uses to fight Celestia. But Discord is blocking. But Crystal is pulling out another move. He announces as she charges in and headbutts Discord in the center, knocking him to the floor. And Discord is down! Ouch! Having a hard time, Dizzy? Shut up, and only Psycho Pie can call me that. And she's dead, thank you very much! <laughs> Thanks, Celeste. Thanks, Celestia, for that. Now get... Now get off! What are you, Selly? Oh, well, if that's what you want. Oh, great. Now Chris Celeste is transformed into Celestia. What do you think now, Pudding? Oh, yeah, now we're talking! <laughs> now she's trying to seduce him. Ugh, like she did me. Is love not sacred anymore? <laughs> sorry! Uh, we're really sorry. Come on, doesn't Dizzy want to feel a bit loose? Well, if you put it that way... Looks like... One... What, go on? Go on. <laughs> she puts one, he puts one arm around Chrysalis, oh god. Looks like the spirit of chaos has met his match. But, Discord grabs Chrysalis by the neck, choking her. Oh, never mind! Sorry, but Silly and I were never much of a love couple. He exclaims madly, but Yelp is Chrysalis fires a blast from her horn. Ouch! Ooh. The transformation backfired, but Chrysalis took control anyhow. And this is why Celestia is goddess of the sun, folks. And the mother of a son, a.k.a. Ben Mare. Uh... That's not Are official. Are seriously quoting the creepy, creepy bosses now? I don't know what you mean. Now you're really making me mad! What you gonna do about it? You've got the IQ of Manticore! Ooh. Ooh. Damn. Oh, shit. Oh, fine. You want to see some fine chaos? I've got a major keeper! And without warning, the disguised Chrysalis is pushed by the wind into a huge tuba playing, causing her to go flying out before she crashes into the ring. Ooh. Nice, huh? And here's something to remind you of how you were beaten. Love can be a powerful thing, but a pain in the flank for you! Ugh, now you forced my feet. I was saving this in case I need to invade, but now you really take me off. What could Chrysalis be up to now? Oh dear, I got a bad feeling about this. 
Chrysalis soon changes sizes as she is now the same height as Discord. My Ooh. my. We are, res we are resourceful, aren't we? So, want to turn us into a giant monster fight? Yes, prepare to die! Ooh. Oh boy. Now it's going kaiju on us. Or it's almost. Oh dear lord. We got a huge monster fight and we're still in the main event! I'll allow it. Now get it back on! <laughs> so she grew, what, three feet? I don't know! That's you. Uh, hang on, I was just checking this chat real quick. Both fighters are now ramming into each other. Ooh, and they're firing bolts. Chrysalis is really putting it out tonight. Discord's having trouble. As Discord is quickly throwing bowlers at Chrysalis, deflecting each one. Ooh. Now it's time to finish this fight off. Oh, Discord is down, of course. Any final words? Ugh, I've got to admit... Even if you kill me, I'll always return someday, and we'll look forward to bringing some chaos into the picture. But tell me, you're pretty good when it comes to transforming into anything, correct? Of course, I can transform into anything! Oh? Even... Phillies? What? Yes, nothing is beyond my power. What is Discord up to? Oh, well... I bet you you can turn to Nyx, maybe Torment Twilight later, correct? Or are you too arrogant to do so? I am not arrogant! If you want me to change into that brat for a final request, you've got it! After all, Chrysalis was about to win, so who could stop her from making the request? And she transforms again, and... Wow! Chrysalis is about to show us a transformation never saw or seen before! And sure enough, the evil changing queen transforms into a familiar filly! I'm cute, but I'm still evil! What do you think now? Well, the villainess suddenly notices that her opponent's back to his feet, and he has something out. Wait, what? And suddenly, Discord is quick as he stabs Chrysalis through with a sickle, and the queen grasping as she's now looking like being served like a pig at a barbecue. <laughs> One thing I forgot to tell you. There are anti nyx fans out there who want her dead. And since I can't get close to the real thing, you'll do nicely. <laughs> oh, that is evil! And Christmas Nick shed tears of blood came out of her. <laughs> Discord is taking control of the fight as having a barbecue. He exclaimed in the amazing Discord making a barbecue pit appear and guerrilling his opponent over it. The villain is soon goes up in flames, now a roasted changing filly. Anyone won't roasted filly? <laughs> Ugh, looks like we got a winner. And the winner is... Excuse me, not done yet, Goldilocks. Now that I've won, I can continue on what I did before. Creating chaos, all that stuff. Best of all, no one can stop me. Uh-oh, looks like Discord is about to try to take Equestria again. Uh, hey, where'd Pinkie Pie went? You may think so, but we have taken precaution, Dizzy. These golden hearts out of a smirk as emotions. And... As luck would have it, there's the main six with all the elements of harmony. <laughs> Pre-season pre four, remember that. Mm-hmm. Consider, in Twilight comments, considering two of our toughest enemies were fighting tonight, my friends and I knew that no matter who won, a lot of innocent people, ponies, dragons, and other animals could lose if we weren't prepared. Thus, we took a precaution of bringing the elements of harmony with us so we can take down the winner before anybody else gets hurt. Oh, flanks! Forgot about that. Ooh. And the rest of the main six unleash a blast from the elements to subdue Discord, trapping him in a statue once again. Discord never learns. Apparently not. The winners and the biggest badasses of them all, the main six! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> and Piggy zips back to the booth where she asks the host eagerly, You see that? Discord thought he could pull one over us, but we sure showed him. Yeah, climactic ending to the main event. And best of all, no blow-ups this time. It looks like, uh... One of the big monitors is playing Discord's image. Oh, fuck. Some folks are freaking out. To all my viewers, it would seem my match is at a loss. Sally Powell is seeing if this was played. Uh, Johnny, is this? A video message, I believe. 
But why would Discord leave a message? Which is why I can say farewell, for if I go, I'd like you all to go out with a bang. <laughs> the clock is ticking. Ta-ta now. <laughs> a timer set for 25 seconds placed on the bottom board. Okay, everyone. Follow my lead. And by follow you, that's a tricky question. In which case you say... Let's get out of here! <laughs> Woo! And, of course, Sadie blows up again. Long Damn. to King come. Man, Johnny, that's the second time this week! That we escaped our demise of another Wrestle Arena explosive impact? No, that I parked my van inside for display use only and it gets total. First time was when the zoo folks monkeys are throwing banana piles all over it. <laughs> Ooh. That is a mystery all right. Well, <clears throat> Well, folks, this is our show broadcasting in Equestria for the second time in a row. Until next time, I'm Johnny Gomez. I'm Nick Diamond here with another inconclusive in mystery on my next insurance policy. Yes, I am certain we're all curious about that. So tune in for the next Celebrity Deathmatch pair-ups. And with more ponies, OCs, and lots to come. And also, I'm Pinkie Pie, saying good fight, good night. And, well... Coming soon in a future Ponies on Celebrity Deathmatch episode, Spike vs. Prince Blue Blood, Applejack vs. the Flim Flam Brothers, and Princess Celestia vs. Tyrak. Coming soon! Tyrak? Folks. Who's Tyrak? No idea. no idea, but that's the end of it. Ah, what a nice, nice ending. That was fun. Even, <laughs> I'd say even better than the first one. <laughs> The first one is actually on his FIMFiction.net page, I should also add. Oh, uh, that was crazy. <laughs> but fun. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I got a few chuckles out of that. Yes. <laughs> All right. But basically well, from here, this here is Mindless Gonzo. <clears throat> and I am the Inverted Shadow. I'll see you all next time. See you around. And uh, good night, folks. Now to pretty much call this one a night. See you guys later.